All right, so there are many of us who have not had the best undergrad GPA. Um, and I mean, I don't want to take anything away from anybody that may have had a lower GPA than me, but I consider myself among those ranks. Like I didn't have the best undergraduate GPA for PA school, I would say. Um, I was hovering right above a 3.0, um, maybe like a 3.2-ish, somewhere around there. I can't remember. We have to go back to some other videos to talk about that. But for PA school, that wasn't that wasn't hitting for me because you know I didn't have like that many healthcare experience hours, um, and my initial personal statement was trash. And so for those of us that may fall into that realm, we're like, okay, well, what do we do? I want to be a PA. I want to get into PA school. How can I do that? Well, this video is for you. Oh, doing my So again, I had a question posed by one of you lovely subscribers. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, it says, uh, this one is from Victoria Davino, And she said, if you have an undergrad GPA of 2.5, but then a cumulative of, of post-grad science courses taken, all good grades, cumulative is 3.1, what should I do? go back and get another bachelor's? How can I increase my drunk undergrad mess ups? LOL. All right, Victoria. I mean, I, I honestly, I, I, I feel for you. You know, I know what it's like to not do your best, I guess, because you're just, undergrad is like supposed to be fun. Like, you know, not everybody is like, man, I want to just be in these books. And although, um, I was kind of like in the middle, I was a little bit lukewarm. That affected me getting into PA school a lot sooner than I could have possibly gotten in. And so I feel your pain, I feel your your um, your desire to figure out what you're going to do. And so for me, I had to kind of resolve this in myself. And I think that that is something that you will have to do as well. What is it that you're looking for? And everybody, we all need to think about this, okay? Like, let's be realistic with things. Like, when am I trying to get into PA school? Are my stats, like these are some questions that you're gonna have to ask. What am I trying to get in? Are my stats where they need to be? What am I willing to do to get into PA school? So Victoria is sitting up here con contemplating, do I get another bachelor's degree? Um, for me, that wasn't an option. If I already had a bachelor's degree, I'm not going to get another bachelor's degree. That's just not an option for me. So I'd be like, okay, do I get a master's degree or do I do a post back? And that is something that I was seriously contemplating. Um, I went to undergrad specifically for medicine, more so to be an OBGYN. Um, I had a family. I've told you guys this story. I've realized that, you know, I didn't want to spend too much time away from my family. I love my family. Um, and so I wanted to ensure that I could still do what I really wanted to do, which was take care of people, um, while at the same time taking care of my family. And so for that, I was like, okay, I want to be a PA, but how can I go about doing this? Because what I'm at with my GPA and my science GPA and my healthcare experience hours is not really where it's at. So I had to do a serious reevaluation and I looked at doing a master's degree program in like some one of these, like I think it was like hematology. It was like a clinical scientist master's degree. Um, and I was really, really close to doing that, you guys, because I got an amazing scholarship offer and I was like, okay, all right, this makes this a little bit more palatable. Um, I'm not going to have to spend too much money out of pocket. I'll come out with a master's degree. And then at the end of the day, I'll be able to now apply to PA school because I know I'm going to kill this master's degree. I had every intention of doing extremely well in that. Um, and I'll be able to get a job at, get healthcare experience hours at the same time, be a PA, um, be applying in a PA school. And I looked at that seriously and I was like, all right, well, what is this timeline line like? Okay. Is it going to be, um, two years? Is it going to be three years? Uh, the degree that I was going to do was a little over a year, like 18 months or so a year and a half. I would get my degree. If I can go on to do other things, um, or add other like certificates to that, if I wanted, um, while working and then yeah, at the same time apply to PA school, but more went into that. I had to to find living arrangements. It was way out of state. I didn't know anybody um, like family-wise in that state, although I had lived there previously. I would literally have to like 
uproot my whole family and move to the state simply for a bridge. Um, and for me, that didn't make sense. You know, it didn't make sense for me to now do a master's degree only as a bridge to get into PA school because I there there were so many other things that I had to pay for and do with my life that I couldn't do that. Now, Victoria, on the other hand, maybe you're like single. You maybe let's say you live at home with your parents. Then that might be something that you're able to do. And if it is, do it. Whatever it is that you're able to do to get yourself into PA school or that much closer to PA school, absolutely do it. If you can be realistic with yourself and you're like, you know what, um, I remember subscribing to Adana's channel and she said, think realistically, what is my plan? What am I going to do? Then absolutely say, all right, you know what, I can take a gap year. I can take two gap years and apply. And that is some of the things that I don't think that we, as pre-PA students, like wanting this career so badly, we don't really think about. We don't think about, all right, you know what, let me just take some time. I do have some time to just relax, kind of get my bearings underneath me, get some patient care experience hours, and get this thing done. Because PA school, you guys, I'm not, I'm not, I'm never gonna stop saying this. PA school is competitive to get into, okay? It is highly competitive. You have a lot of students applying to programs that are offering an, an average of 30 seats, okay? And you have thousands of students applying to this, these programs. So you have to make sure that you are the best version of yourself. A lot of us wanna be perfect. Um, we wanna have the best scores and the highest, but it's not always about being perfect. A lot of times it's about just being the perfect you, I guess you can say, the best version of you. If this is where you can get at this mark and this is where you're setting yourself up for, this is your this is your goal and you've reached your goal, then apply and do that, okay? So Victoria, for you, I don't know. You have to, I would need more information in terms of what, where you're at in life. Would you get another bachelor's degree? If you have a already, already have a bachelor's degree, go ahead and look for master's programs or post back programs that will allow you to also get the science out, um, credit hours and your overall cumulative hours. Because honestly, like when you're sitting at a 3.1, let's look at what your science GPA is. Um, and if that is what you were saying, you're, you're saying all good grades, um, post-grad science courses taken. If your science GPA is a 3.1, you still need to ensure that your overall cumulative GPA is greater than a 3.0. And that science GPA actually needs to be raised a little. If you looked at my last video where I talked about the stats that PA students are getting into schools with, um, the average student is getting when, with like a 3.5 overall GPA and like a science GPA of about a 3.3, 3.4. So you have to be in that range, okay? All right, thank you guys so much for this question. Thank you, Victoria, for leaving that comment. If you haven't left a comment ever on my channel, take this moment right now. This is your chance. Leave a comment for me um, so that I can answer your questions. I do look at them, you guys. Follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA as well as on Instagram at Get That C University. You can check us out on GetThatCUniversity.com and see what we have to offer. We have a lot of things for um, pre-PA students to help you get into PA school and we have like quizzes and things like that for PA students to help them get through PA school, okay? So if you're looking for something that is a little bit more geared and focused to you, GetThatCUniversity.com is the place to be. All right, thank you guys. I will talk to you guys next time.